Hi everyone, it's Kelly here, your online instructor. Welcome back to my channel. If you are an artist, a crafty person, an educator, or just someone that likes to create for fun, you are in the right place. In today's video, I'm gonna show you something that I get a lot of questions on from many people. And that is, what do you use when you are recording your YouTube videos or your online courses? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna show you my top three that I use in, on a weekly basis for either recording um, my art classes or my YouTube videos. And if you want to check out my other video up here, uh, you can see what I do and what my classes are like if this is your first time here. So if you're ready, let's jump into my top three gadgets. Hi, I'm Kelly Chatsey. I have full online classes and tutorials every month on my website at www.kellychassiefineart.com and I have over 10,000 students and over 15 years experience teaching art. So if you have a chance, head over to my website and check them out. Okay, so this is me early in the morning. No makeup on, my hair is not done, but you know what? I know you guys don't care. Um, keeping it real. <laughs> That's what I do. All right, so let's dive in to my top three. So my first one that I love to use is just a plain old clip. And let me show you. So this is a little clip that I use and you can see it just clips right up here. It pretty much clips on anything you want it to clip on. It's a very strong, sturdy clip. So normally I would clip it up here on top of my curtain and you can see it's hanging down here spin this around and then I clip my phone right to this aiming down and this is the view that I get so this is actually my favorite way to do it if the lighting is really good when I'm working on my classes so you'll notice this arm is movable uh, it's quite sturdy it's a real sturdy steel I'm not sure exactly what it's made out of but you can maneuver this in any different direction that you want to so as I said this is my favorite way to film because it films landscape style it's directly down and there's nothing in the way I don't have any little feet showing or anything so if the lighting is good this is my favorite way to do it the second one is this selfie stick. So I have this little remote control and I can start and stop my videos just by clicking. <laughs> you didn't even know I did it, did you? This is a fabulous little tool. This came with my telescopic uh, selfie stick basically is what it is. So that is my number two. The bottom of it opens up so it can stand right on my desk like this and this is adjustable so you can put your phone right in here strap it in this is um, how you tighten it up so if you have different size phones it'll work for all different phones this turns around you can actually go down with it so if I want to telescopic watch this oops this goes up and then I can make this taller so that I can record down. Now what does happen though is the base of it does show in uh, some of the videos so you do have to have it farther away. It's best if you have a really wide desk so you can put it directly in front of you and then just angle this up just a little bit and that seems to work quite well. It also comes with, bring that back down, comes with this little remote control so I can sit here and I can turn it off and I can turn it back on just by clicking this little button so if I am in the middle of doing something and I want to pause it I can do that um, the other nice thing is it is a selfie stick so I can close this up use this as my handle aim my camera at me like this and this can go way out so if I've got you know something um, wide angle that I want to show you I can do it with this and number three is my ring light which is what you see here and I'm going to show you what it looks like without my ring light so I'm going to turn the light down if I am recording this way you just can't see anything it's so dark and um, this one is the light ring and I'll show it to you is right here in front of me turn it back on um, this is great if you're recording and it's dark or it's at night because what you can do is or I'm looking right here there's actually a little holder and you can tilt that holder down or up 
depending on let me get that straightened back out depending on um, the view that you're looking for if you if you're if you're recording straight down or if you're an artist maybe you're an oil painter you, this works great because it's right upright it does have a stand so you can adjust this up and down right here it's got a lot of adjustments and it folds pretty flat so there's my phone on top and just leaning forward and you can see it's got great lighting in there uh, there's my hand so I make sure that I've got that zoomed in on my project that I'm working on right at your painting so this is really the best way for me to paint it's a little bit more difficult with alcohol inks because the UPO paper tends to shine a little bit more so I try to do those with more natural lighting but you know what sometimes the lighting just doesn't do what we need it to do so the light ring is fabulous it's uh I've had this one for a while and I absolutely love it I will give you the links to my Amazon shop if you're interested in trying any of these out and if you want to learn a little bit more about my process of how I create my videos you want to go a little bit deeper in I'm thinking of doing a master class for this so leave me a comment down below let me know if you're interested in the master class you can also sign up for my newsletter so you'll be notified with any um, updates or projects or things that are happening and I'm trying to get some feedback from you all on what you'd like to see in the masterclass. So if you like this video make sure to click that like button, leave me a comment down below, let me know what you use. If you're using something different than what I'm using maybe you have a better idea. Love to hear it and don't forget to hit that bell so you'll be notified for the next video. Thanks for being here and we'll see you next week. If you want to stick around for one more minute, you can check out the new fall class that just published. Hi everyone, it's Kelly Chassie here. Welcome to Autumn Painting, Fall Leaves with Watercolor. Now I know that realistic paintings can be intimidating for many watercolorists. And in this course, we will bring that whole process together with layers and layers, taking your basic painting, where many of us tend to stop at, to the next level for a more realistic look. So this class is for beginners, but in the end, we will complete a very realistic maple leaf. I'll walk you through the process, every step. So even if you are a brand new watercolorist, I know you can do this. So we're going to dive into the details in this course. So what you're gonna learn in this course basically is to create a simple color chart. We're gonna be using fall colors. Then we're going to expand on that and learn how to add a glaze to create some more shades and some more depth in your watercolor painting. We'll paint a simple wet and wet leaf and we'll be dropping in some colors, watching those move around. Then we'll dive a little deeper with some glazes and create some more realistic details. We're going to practice with pen and ink for some quick results. This is perfect for cards or adding some little touches to your painting. And for our final project, we will create this beautiful, realistic maple leaf using all of these techniques, plus a little touch of watercolor pencil for extra fine details. So I'm really excited for you to sign up for the class and we we'll hope to see you inside.